What's up YouTube, this is Brandon, North Texas Woodcraft. Today I just wanted to do a quick video on router bits. So there's one thing I thought about the other day when I first started woodworking. There really weren't a whole lot of videos on router bit comparison. Thought I'd do one real quick and I want to compare the Rockler half inch collet chamfer bit to the, and they're, they're both 45 degree chamfer bits, but I wanted to compare that to the cheap Harbor Freight Warrior brand chamfer bit. Uh, the only real difference is this one, the Harbor Freight is a quarter inch collet, which I'm gonna be running them both at the same speed, so that, that shouldn't have any effect on the outcome anyway. Um, and I should mention, we are going with hard maple for the test material. I've got a butcher block I need to chamfer. Figured why not make a quick video. So we'll go ahead and start with the Rockler bit and change them out and swap over. And I, I do have them labeled so that we can keep track of which one's which. So let's do it. Unplug the router real quick, change over. So we're on. I don't have a router lift, so this is the hardest part is we're on the second setting. It's making sure we're at the identical depth of cut. Which I can compare it. Pretty, pretty exact. One might be slightly deeper than the other for this test, but I still think we can get good results. Second setting. There's the first one. That is going to be a little too deep. That's about perfect. Go plug the router back in, be ready to roll.
And if you guys like videos like these, feel free to drop a comment and let me know. Definitely would like to do some more comparison style videos. And I also forgot to mention that this, for the Rockler side, it is going on some end grain too. And the Harbor Freight is all long grain. So that makes it a little bit easier, I guess you could say, for the bit itself. So, all right, now with the Harbor Freight. All right, let's look at the results. Let's go over here where some got some better light. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. see which is which here we go okay <clears throat> Excuse me. so here's the rockler bit pretty dang perfect there are some slight lines towards the top I don't know if you can see not an issue it's easily hand sanded out typically have those with taking such a deep cut anyway and I always hand sand at the end. Here's the other rocker side. No chip out, no tear out, nothing that can't be easily sanded. And then here's the Harbor Freight Warrior bit. Similar with the lines in it. Not too bad. Check the other side of the Harbor Freight. Same thing. Really not the, um, not the outcome I was expecting, but overall I think that's, it's definitely not a bad thing. Um, these are my preferred bits, mainly because of the half inch collet. It's just a little, little safer, I guess, in the end. They're a little beefier. But that being said, this little guy here definitely, definitely stood up to it. Uh, mainly the reason I switched to this Rockler bit, the reason I bought it, I guess I should say, um, I was having some issues with cutting boards where I was getting a lot of tear out more than just the every, every so often tear out and a little burning. So I was getting kind of frustrated 
during the holiday season doing a lot of cutting boards so I just bought it and haven't really looked back since but Really, I guess in the end, if you if you keep these Harbor Freight bits clean, they can they can do a pretty good job too. As far as how long they last, that I don't know. But both of these bits are probably. I think I had the Harbor Freight for a year and a half, two years, and the Rockler for about a year. So there's no telling, as far as which one will last longer. I would like to think the Rockler would last longer, but. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you'd like to see more of them like this, reviews, tool comparisons, um, feel free to drop a comment down. Everybody, I hope y'all stay safe. Have a good one.